Okay, so um, firstly, what do you feel are the biggest challenges facing teachers in the near future? There are all sorts of challenges, I guess, that are on the horizon. You can look at the school's funding environment, which is likely to get a lot tighter over the next five years. Uh, You can look at uh, all the various changes that are happening within the curriculum. You can look at uh, the extra accountability and compliance that's likely to come in. But for us, I think the key uh, challenge for us for schools, not just for teachers, but for all of us, is around the attainment gap. It's this gap that exists between uh, the outcomes of children who come from poorer backgrounds compared with all other pupils. It's uh, an attainment gap that's been around historically for a long time. It's very stubborn, it's very persistent, it's very hard to change. But it's crucial because at the moment you have the uh, case in point that those who come from better off backgrounds get uh, are twice as likely to get five good GCSEs compared with those who come from poorer backgrounds. Now that's mm-hmm. not just a personal individual tragedy for those kids who don't get the results that will help them to get on in later life, but it's a, a huge national uh, waste of talent as well. So that for me is the big challenge that we've yeah. got to try and sort out. And um, how can obviously what teachers, uh, how can they um, help with overcoming these challenges? Well, the way in which we hope that uh, teachers will, uh, in particular, look at the attainment gap is by starting to think through what the gap is within their schools. Um, you know, it could be that if you're a primary school, maybe it's the um, boys writing in year three as an issue, or maybe you're in a secondary school and it's the girls' science in year ten as the issue. Whatever, wherever the gap might exist within school, be honest about where those gaps are and then think about what is it that's needed to try and raise the attainment of those kids from poorer backgrounds. Um, What does the research evidence say about that? And to think about how we can do things differently within schools um, and how we can apply that evidence in a real world situation to make that difference. So whether it's, whatever it is, whether it's literacy, numeracy, science, whatever the gaps within a particular school are, how is it that we can make sure that by the time those kids leave school, whether it's age 11 or whether it's age 16, they're in the best possible uh, condition uh, educationally to move on in later life and if, if all of us can I, I think it's it's a collective endeavor it's not just um, teachers it's about senior leaders it's about school governors uh, it's about all of us involved in education or who care about education making sure that we really focus on that that yeah. end point thank you and um, it's quite a mouthful this one if you had one sentence to summarize the most important things that teachers should do to improve outcomes for students what would it be one sentence, wow, okay. Um, for us, I think it's uh, focus on the attainment gap. Mm-hmm. Where is it? What can we do about it? What difference can we make? Uh, how can we do that with colleagues as soon as possible? Yeah. And um, lastly, what have the highlights been of Educate 2015 for you? Um, I, well, I, so far on my talk, um, it's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, <laughs> that was the, uh, coming here this morning, it's been fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. I actually ma- managed to make it to Crawley, um, my yeah. car, which I was quite impressed by. Um, and uh, no, it looks like a, a really nice school, been great to meet. Yeah. Um, Where is it you come from? So I just come from Horsham, um, oh, so okay. not far away at all. Uh, and uh, but met the head teacher, mm-hmm. met you, Jacob, um, yeah. met uh, uh, various of the teachers so far. It seems like a real commitment to try and make sure that not just that the education here is the best possible for the kids but also that we think about how we can uh, as a school community as an education community uh, try and make sure that we share best practice and that's what today's yeah. about and it's uh, i'm looking forward to the rest of it yeah that's uh, that's great thanks very much for coming down it's nice and sunny outside it so is. i'm sure it's nice <laughs> to come outside absolutely pleasure. yeah great thank you thank you very much. cheers, cheers.